Have you ever set goals and you didn't reach them? If you ask yourself, why? Dear Toastmasters, fellow guests, you have goals. I have goals. Everyone has goals. Ask yourself, what are your goals? What do you want to achieve in life? <clears throat> well, start with writing it down. Make it visual for you. So you can print it in your mind. Make that idea, that goal, your life. It has to be in your body. You have to feel it. You have to stand up with it. You have to go to sleep with it. You have to dream it. You have to live your goal. Let every part of your body feel that goal. Your muscles, your brain, your nerves. But just that goal. Don't wander around searching other goals. Just focus on that one. I'm going to tell you a story of my goals, how I reach them, and how I keep up with them. <clears throat> Two years ago, I had a very severe car accident. I had a broken spine. I had a broken ribcage. I had a whiplash. Go on. You name it, I had it. I also had a job. I was a chief supervisor and a fire chief in a chemical company. But now, I don't have a job anymore because of my medical reasons. So instead of staying home and just sit there doing nothing, I set myself new goals. And in my case, that's a 180 degrees turn. Total opposite from what I did. My new goal is becoming a behavior and a wellness therapist for animals. A wellness therapist for humans. So, I went back to school from scratch. That's where I realized that going for goals is not so easy if you you're going to give up easy. So I have to grab to the past to some fundamental lessons I learned over there. And that's how I want to reach my goals. And this I want to tell you. I want to share this lessons with you. And I hope that I can help you reach your goals as well. So first, you have to be realistic. We often set ourselves unrealistic goals. And we're going to fail most of the time. So why not set yourself little goals and reward yourself if you have that goal? You have to specify your goal. You can't go around and get out and say, I'm going to do that. Wow, that's also nice. I'm going to do that and that also. No, just focus on one or two things and finish those two things. Then you are good. You have to be strong. You can do it. I can do it. We all can do it. But we have to have a pretty good plan of action. Mm. So why not take a list, write down your goals in the beginning of the week and try to complete them on the end of the week. You have to be keep on target with your plan. You're gonna see sometimes it's gonna go very slowly, and you're gonna see no difference when you're going up to your goal. And maybe, maybe then you're gonna say, 
No. I am going to do it anyway. Don't. Your job is to keep on going. You can make it. It doesn't matter how good others are in what you do or in what you're trying to achieve. Don't ask yourself, is it worth it? No. You have to compare yourself only to yourself. You have to say to yourself, any progress is progress. You're never, and I mean never, too old to set new goals. I'm 40. You're never too old to dream a new dream. I know when you go to your goals, you're going to see a lot of obstacles that you have to conquer. But you're going to make it. Don't fall in a butt. In a hole. Don't go down. You can make it. I know it. I'm going to say it again. Remember, you all can make it to your goals. Is it a little bit difficult sometimes? Just go back to what you used to do and what you're comfortable with. And then start from there again. But write them down, make them visualize. So you can see them. Put a picture with it. <coughs> see your goal. You can repeat your goal day after day. Every day, people. Every day holds a new opportunity. Every single day. And today, it's a good day to start setting your own goals. So, start writing them down. Thank you very much.